When a cardiac emergency happens, every second matters. If someone collapses, what should you do first? Use an automated external defibrillator or perform CPR. Today, we'll explain the differences between AEDs and CPR and how they work together to save lives. At AED.us, we want to help people understand life-saving techniques and provide the right tools for emergencies. Knowing how AEDs and CPR work can help you act fast when it matters most. What is an AED? An Automated External Defibrillator, or AED, is a portable device that checks a person's heart rhythm and delivers an electric shock if needed to restart the heart. AEDs are designed for anyone to use, even without medical training. They provide clear voice and visual instructions to guide the user step by step. AEDs are critical for treating sudden cardiac arrest, which happens when the heart's electrical system stops working properly. If left untreated, SCA is fatal within minutes. You can learn more about AEDs by visiting AED.us. What is CPR? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is a technique that keeps blood flowing when the heart has stopped. It involves chest compressions to circulate oxygen to vital organs and, in some cases, rescue breaths to provide additional oxygen. CPR is the first step in a cardiac emergency and buys time until an AED or emergency help arrives. AEDs and CPR serve different purposes, but they work best when used together. If you are in a cardiac emergency, performing CPR keeps blood flowing to the brain and organs when the heart isn't pumping effectively. If an AED is available, it delivers a shock to the heart to restore a normal rhythm and restart proper heart function. Let's go over the steps of what to do in a cardiac emergency. If you witness someone collapse and become unresponsive, call 911 immediately to get professional medical help on the way. After calling for help, start CPR right away. Push hard and fast in the center of the chest to keep blood circulating. If an AED is available, use it as soon as possible. Open the device, apply the pads as instructed, follow the voice prompts, and allow the AED to analyze the heart. Continue CPR and follow the AED's instructions until emergency responders arrive. If no AED is available, keep performing CPR without stopping. Using an AED in the first few minutes of cardiac arrest can increase survival rates by up to 70%. But since AEDs aren't always immediately available, CPR is critical to keep oxygen moving to the brain and organs until help arrives. Having an AED at home, work, or in public places can be the difference between life and death. CPR is a vital skill, but an AED gives the best chance of restarting a heart. To learn more about AEDs or find the right device for your home, visit AED.us. Be prepared, stay informed, and be ready to save a life.